A gift does not have to be expensive to be appreciated. It does, however, according to me, nothing fancy, have to be useful. Something that can change the way I do business day to day. I dig that. And you are looking at just such an item. It is not new in the Nut and Fancy project. I've shown it to you many times in my reviews. In fact, it was one of my very first video reviews posted on Amazon.com, later onto my existing YouTube account just for the heck of it. And the rest is history. I started reviewing all kinds of cool stuff from there because the response on that review video was positive. It is, of course, a Streamlight Stylus Pro. One of my all-time favorite flashlights to this day. It's not an expensive light. It's not a super uber high-tech flashlight either, dudes. It's affordable and it's simple. And sometimes simple is best. And one of the reasons I'm making this video is to give you maybe a good gift-giving idea this Christmas season. Season, And after the uh, Christmas is over, you know, the video will still stand as a reference point for all kinds of people who are looking for a slim, very easily carried, bright enough flashlight for their system. And I don't care who you are. You know, a cop, a sailor, a lineman, soldier, pilot, nurse, paramedic, PJ, there isn't anybody I know that I've hooked up with this light that just not did not absolutely dig it. And I'm talking about the Streamlight Stylus Pro. Again, I want to keep my original video out there because I think that information in there is still accurate, still plays. But the purpose of this video is to update you in the Stylus Pro lineup. There's some cool things that have come down the road I want to show you. But I also want to discuss its cousins in the Streamlight Stylus lineup. Also reviewed previously, the stylus, uh, the regular stylus. This is mine out of my EDC rule of law carry. You'll see the annotation in video, and man, is this a cool little light. Look at how worn that sucker is. I love that Boba Fett wear on that light. Uh, and why is that? Because it just works in my system. It's always with me, the stylus. We'll talk about the specification on that as well. And then new, to the Nut and Fancy project, Streamlight style, uh, Poly Stylus. And I've been wanting to get a hold of one of these to do a review on it. And I was just about to just do a separate review on this light alone when I just started thinking, I was like, man, I had to just review them all again in HD so the reference uh, points are the data points and all the uh, information is there for my TM peers in one video. And that's the purpose of this one. I'm going to talk about all the specifications as quickly as I can and let you decide which one is best. And I have some preferences too. I'll share those with you at the end. And as I normally do, I go down my talking points like this. Probably forget a few things. I'll annotate it if I do and let you choose best which ones uh, will work for your system. And like I said, everybody will love this light. What a great gift idea. Super duper affordable. Size and weight, let's start right there. All of them are easy to carry. Compact, lightweight, uh, very functional in most systems. Uh, now don't get me wrong, I still love the multi-mode, powerful Cree flashlights. Kind of like the Phoenix L2D. Remember that one? reviewed in the Nut and Fancy project. By multi-mode, if you haven't seen those videos, I'm talking that you can access different brightness levels, different flashy modes from a user interface of some kind. In the L2D's case, we can rotate the bezel to the right, tap the switch in general mode, that's what it's called. We go from low to medium to high to a flashing SOS mode. Very useful for backpacking, hiking, rescue operations if you get stranded somewhere. Rotate the bezel to the left. Turbo mode, maximum brightness, tap again. Into strobe mode, ultra cool. I love these Phoenix lights. I love the Night Core lights. I love the Quark um, AA lights too by 4.7s. All of them are outstanding, multi-mode Cree flashlights, very representative of that new flashlight or lighting technology that I discussed in that video but I don't always have this with me. I admit it, I don't. Duty use, I always have it. Uh, anytime I'm on duty, I will always have a Phoenix or comparable light with me, multi-mode, uh, bright, 
LED technology light, you know it. Civilian life, maybe not so much. I will tell you this though, I will always have at least one of these on the table with me. And that is because of their size and weight. Okay, look how skinny they are. Stylus to begin with. This is in my rule of law everyday carry system. You can look that video up and I showed it to you there. It is like, a, you know, a writing instrument, a pen if you will. That is how skinny it is and that makes it extremely portable. This one is very light too, 1.1 ounces. Almost invisible in your everyday carry system. The next lightest will be the Poly Stylus, 1.4 ounces. The size and weight though, I mean the size is kind of a miss though because we don't have just a cylindrical pin-like form factor. We have kind of a bulbous head when we go with a Poly Stylus. Bigger back end, bigger front end. You'll have to decide if that's going to fit in your system well. If we upgrade to the Stylus Pro, then yeah, it's a little bit shorter and a little bit fatter but one reason why is it uses more effective power cells and actually more readily available too. Triple AA cells is what the Stylus Pro uses. The ones in the background, Quad A. Just like I said in my Stylus review, that's kind of a downside. That is not a readily available, at least uh, in Walmart and other places like that, power cell. And I could be off, I'm, I'm sure you can find it and I have found it before, but it ain't like Triple A's. Uh, and also this one, when you go to a larger power cell, of course, you have longer burn times, right? We'll get to that here in a second. Size and weight though, if you're looking for the uh, tiniest and the slimmest light available, it's gonna be the stylus, okay? And maybe your system, that's what you want. Like if you're a doctor and all you have available is a pin pocket, this light will work. Still does, even as of 2009. That will take us to construction. The regular stylus, this one right here, and the Stylus Pro in the background feature aluminum barrels and they're tough. As you can see, this one's been knocked around quite a bit, still going strong. The Poly Stylus, I think is also equally strong but not yet proven by me, nut and fancy, has a fiberglass barrel. Um, pretty tough though and lightweight for what it is. And then all three lights also meet what's called an IPX4 waterproof standard. They're not dive lights. This is not something you generally want to go underwater with. My understanding is IPX4 means they can be splashed from all directions and still maintain waterproof integrity. All of them feature O-rings in their construction. Again, these are high quality little lights. You're getting a lot for your money. I'll talk about that. See the O-ring on the poly stylus? Even the regular stylus in the background has double O-rings. And this little light, again, has seen lots of wear, and I think my little O-rings on the back are getting a little bit worn out. But if I unscrew this here, this is kind of an interesting design. See, they have double O-rings there, and this one, that back one has stretched out a little bit, so sometimes it kind of stretches out from the cap. But look at this. Here's your push switch at the end, <laughs> kind of dirty, and that even has an O-ring on it. See? High quality lights. Again, these are not 1970s era pin lights. See that one, how it's kind of squashing, squashing? Uh, and that's gonna be kind of a hard O-ring to find. I have to kind of delicately put that cap back on. Hang on just a second. There we go. The best way to do that, to get that on, is I could alcohol that little O-ring and then it wouldn't stretch out like that. Okay, so for what they are, it's a pretty good waterproof light. Again, these aren't heavy duty lights. These are lightweight, easy to carry EDC lights, uh, but the quality of construction is amazing. On the Stylus Pro, a nice forward clicky switch, and I have yet to see any of these rubber ends wear out. Unlike Phoenix, you're not given an extra rubber end cap. So if it does, you probably were gonna have to send it in for warranty service. These work though, I mean, I'll tell you, they just don't wear out. Po the Poly Stylus, I don't have any experience with other than the tabletop initial impression. Um, but it's not a rubber switch, it's very much like the Stylus, O-ring sealed as well. All of them though, extremely high quality for what they are. The Ergos will be subject to user preference. Me, my most favorite one, this one right here, Stylus Pro. Ergonomically, it's excellent. It's very slim in hand, easy to actuate, and again, it's not multi-mode, it's just on and off. And that is usually a good thing. 
I mean, if you have a lot on your mind, if there's a lot going on and you just need light, okay, a medium level of brightness, this Stylus Pro rocks. Again, I still love the multi-mode flashlights and they're very useful, but when you have a lot going on and you just don't want to dink around with the modes, sometimes just a single mode light is sufficient. Okay, and again, the multi-modes is if you use them a lot, you get really good with them. Don't get me wrong, they're great. But for most users who are not what I call, or everyone calls, flashaholics, guys that really know and love flashlights, this is simple. The UI or the user interface on the poly stylus and the regular stylus is a little bit more archaic. Not bad. It's not a click on or click off switch. I think I said that in my review of this slide. Instead, it's a twist on, twist off, if that's what you want. So I'll just twist the back end and I get the light. If I twist it un, uh, or off twist it if you want just a little bit, I can momentary on the light. Poly stylus works the same way. Incidentally, on the front of the stylus, if I didn't already mention it, and if I did, I'll just do it again. Sometimes through the takes, I forget. That's a protective cap for your LED, and I do use it so I don't scratch it all up like that. Okay, and that keeps your bulb nice and clean and kind of helpful. Poly stylus, of course, doesn't have that because it has a polycarbonate head on the top of it. Um, the ergos on the poly stylus, very similar to this one. Now, one thing I do not like though, and I'm kind of jumping ahead into track record, maybe durability, I don't like the plastic clip here. I generally don't like plastic clips on my lights or any plastic parts on my light. My experience is these clips will break over time and I've had very bad experience with supposedly indestructible plastic flashlights um, of all kinds of brands. And they've just cracked on me, especially in very cold weather. I'm not a fan. I'm not worried about the fiberglass barrel on this light. I am about the clip. Uh, the polycarbonate head, which I think is tougher than normal plastic, should not be a problem. I think that'll work fine. Clip, not so much. The metal clips on both the Stylus Pro and the regular Stylus are actually excellent. This one's simple. I mentioned as much in my review. Don't expect it to be super strong, but at least you have it and it is functional in roll. In other words, as a lightweight EDC light. The best clip on the table is again on the Stylus Pro. That's because it's locked onto the barrel, it's adequately strong, and it can actually function as a molly light. In other words, if you have a molly webbing, you can just stick in the Stylus Pro and It'll ride just fine, I know from experience. Great little clip on this. That takes us, moving right along, brightness and throw. Honestly dudes, don't get overly excited on these lights. They're not super powerful. In fact, this poly stylus is downright anemic if you ask me. I have a white one, I think that's the best one to choose and you're, all, you're going to get all of nine lumens out of this light. That's not a lot. And it has three quad A power cells, not two, but three in here. So four and a half volts roughly um, to get that. Uh, not great. If you go for another color and these lights are, off, are offered in different LED colors, it's going to be even worse. Blue is 1.7 lumens. These are factory numbers. Red, five lumens. Greens, an anemic 3.5. Not very exciting. Uh, the heads, by the way, on the poly stylus are swappable, of course. You can swap different colors if that's what you need, depending on your line work. You know, maybe you're doing some lab work or something, and the different colors would be helpful. The stylus is also pretty darn anemic. This one is running two quad A cells. Let me make sure I'm telling you right. I think it is two. Sorry, I lied. It also has three quad A power cells in it and it's going to put out like a very dim light comparatively speaking against maybe something like a phoenix the regular stylus in white puts out 10 lumens although i will say it's brighter than the poly stylus apparently little bit the red though version of the regular stylus is uh, a very mind-blowing one lumen blue they say and these are factory numbers again 0.7 lumens Amazing, why even bother? It's ridiculous. Um, so not super bright. But again, hmm, see a trend here? Stylus Pro is uh, very useful in that it puts out, let me make sure I get this right, 24 lumens, half watt LED. 
not a Cree LED, my understanding, of course. It is what they call a high flux LED with a micro optical system. I talked about that in my original review. And as you can see, it puts out a fair amount of light. Great beam pattern coming out of the micro or the Stylus Pro, don't you think? Concentric, no artifacts, culminated well, good spill beam. All the things we see with the higher quality flashlights, actually not higher quality, but more powerful flashlights like the Phoenix, right? If we compare the beam patterns against these ones, okay, uh, actually that little stylus is pretty decent. Notice the brightness that levels, they are different. And you know, there's probably some variances in my power cells here because both these lights are heavily used. And then the stylus, or the poly stylus, brand new batteries, still dimmer than the Stylus Pro. Okay, but that's a fairly good beam. I do notice that in the Stylus Pro, look at the artifacts as I twist the light. See that? Kind of funky. Pretty good beam in the center is what I'm talking about. There's a lot of distracting stuff going on uh, on the outside. Again, these aren't super expensive lights. We shouldn't expect perfection, but to me that's annoying coming out of the Poly Stylus. And I don't see that in the regular Stylus, do you? That's because it's coming straight out of a uh, LED and there's no parabolic reflector associated with the beam throw on that one. The best one for brightness, of course, and throw will be the Stylus Pro, hands down, love it. Burn times, Stylus Pro, again using factory numbers with two AAA power cells, brand new ones, seven and a half hours. Keep in mind that's because it's running a half watt LED putting out 24 lumens, which is substantial, at least as of 2009 standards for a light of this size. Again, technology is going to keep marching on, dudes. I told you that in that one video. You'll see better lights, longer burning lights as years go on. Still pretty good though for right now. The poly stylus and regular stylus about 60 hours with their three quad A power cells. And again, that's very temperature dependent. Gets colder, don't expect as much. But for what they are, subcompact LED lights, I'm pretty happy with the burn times. I don't find myself being annoyed with my stylus and my stylus pros for battery life. I don't go, oh crap, the battery's out again. I really don't. I find that they last a long time. The Stylus Pro is digitally regulated. Not to the level of a Phoenix or something, but they're doing the best they can getting the maximum juice out of the flashlights. Okay, so decent burn times for what they are. The modes and user interface faces, one thing I want to correct is these two lights are actually different. I said they weren't. The regular stylus and the poly stylus have different UIs. This one has a clicky switch on it the poly stylus and to me that is a selling point because it makes it one hand operable right just like that hold it like a cigarette hold it like a pen very easy in hand again getting back to the good ergonomics and the clicky switch so both the two lights in the foreground clicky one hand operable simple UI it's just single mode on and off you'll have to decide if that brightness is going to be good for you I will tell you that in day to day day to day living it will be, generally speaking. Even in duty use, when I need it, uh, all my buddies are always pretty impressed with a light that the, at least a Stylus Pro puts out. They're like, dude, that's amazing. And again, there ain't nobody I've hooked up with this light that is displeased with it. Amazing. Versatility. Kind of mentioned that already, didn't we? At the beginning. It doesn't matter what your occupation is, you will find a use for this light. I think any one of these lights would be an excellent addition just like I said in my first aid kit series, both uh, I think actually the level two would be an excellent addition to your level two first aid kit. I think you should have a very reliable, relatively high powered flashlight. Single mode is just fine in your first aid kit. There's gonna be lots of times you're gonna need some light and you're gonna need it quick to find out what's going on in the victim, okay? My paramedics and doctors know exactly what I'm talking about. They use it all the time. My first choice out of all of these will be the Stylus Pro. If you can take the weight, okay, the weight adds up and so does the size. It just depends on what your case is uh, for your level two first aid kit. Reference my videos if you're interested. Track record, dudes, and I'm coming to the end of this review already, wow, is according to me, nothing fancy. I have lots of use, again, with these two lights. The track record, proven by me, outstanding, very durable. 
I haven't had any switch problems with them, I haven't had any LED problems. Uh, you saw that uh, those O-rings on the stylus kind of wearing out, but that's normal. I mean, come on, let's get real. That's normal. And I can probably ship it back to the factory, have it refurbed or whatever, or maybe even find those tiny O-rings if I need to. Very durable though. Track record, I will say, is pretty much outstanding. By the way, if I didn't mention this, you can focus your beam more on this regular stylus if you use the cat protector. Uh, in other words, kind of like this. So you have a very sharp and focused beam. You take it off, you get more of a diffused lighting for area lighting. Just an aside, I forgot to mention that. But back to track record, just excellent, love them. Don't know much about the Poly Stylus. Again, this is my first introduction to it tabletop wise. I suspect it'd be just like the other ones. Very durable, great in roll, excellent all around tiny little lights. And this gets to their huge selling point, the cost. They are affordable. If you want a good gift uh, for your friend, your relative, something they're gonna remember, and more importantly, just like I said at the beginning, use day to day here's three options for you guys right now the stylus poly stylus stream light stylus pro and speaking of the pro and here comes the exciting part they are now offered in different colors excellent i still love the matte black type 2 anodized finish which is extremely high quality scratch resistant i forgot to mention that and also getting back to track record and maybe construction these, all these lights are pretty darn shockproof. I know I've dropped them on the concrete enough. Great light, but now offered in colors and check this one out. Oh yeah, awesome. Stylus Pro in that beautiful blue finish, anodized. And that's not the only color they're offering now. Going to the product literature of Streamlight, check these out. Camouflage, red camouflage. There's your standard black. Silver's a good color. There's that blue I just showed you. Also red. Beautiful. That's also, the, that's called a micro stream. That's a single uh, AAA cell light. I don't prefer it. I'm going to be honest with you. I much prefer going with just a little bit extra length in the flashlight and getting a lot more brightness and runtime. Um, so you might like it. I mean, seriously, you're only looking at just a little bit more overall length. Just outstanding. Look at those lights though. Cool, cool, cool. I mean, any one of these colorations would be a great, would make a great gift. If someone gave me this and you know I didn't already have them, I'd go, gosh, that is so cool. I didn't even know they were making lights like that. The poly stylus comes in different colorations for the head. The body is going to be the same. And I didn't mention these. These are the stylus reaches, I guess designed for, I don't know, electricians. Uh, you know, people who need to look in crannies. It makes a good gun light and it has a cable neck on it. This one, a very long cable neck, maybe 18 inches, according from, uh, judging from the name. What's the prices I have written down there? These are Amazon.com prices. $20 for the silver, that's as of November 2009. And off to the right is your cornerstore.com prices. I tell you guys, those guys, if they have it in stock, they're just going to blow away everybody else's prices. 18 bucks for the red. And then the blue at Amazon was the most expensive, around 29 something. So yeah, these are normally around 18, the black ones. Uh, the poly stylus, I think are around 15 or so and cheaper still for the regular stylus right here. This one's shown in blue. Any one of them are great gift ideas, if not outstanding gift ideas. They just work. They're ultra slim, ultra reliable, and pretty bright for what you get. Okay, they are kind of foundational in the Nothing Fancy Project, one of my very first reviews, and they still stand the test of time. Will they be supplanted sometime in the future by better technology, lighter weight? Well, a year and a half has passed, two years has passed since I've been using them and recommending them to many people, and I ain't seen it yet. Not even by the super fancy dancy multi-mode flashlights, which are bigger and bulkier and probably will not be with you when you really need them. My favorite out of all of these, if you haven't already figured out, is this one right here. Streamlight Stylus Pro, the ultimate stocking stuffer by Nut and Fancy, around $20, depending on the coloration and where you go and buy it. There you have it. The Stylus Lights by Streamlight, they are a home run. And again, that's my favorite. Secondarily, maybe this one. So skinny, it doesn't put out as much light, but it's so slender. Uh, my least favorite, probably this one. 
just kind of got a bulky head. It's not very bright. This one's brighter than this, uh, than this polystylus favorite right here. Thanks guys. Nothing fancy signing off. Happy holidays. Thanks.